Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this week's Church Media Quick Tip. And this week I wanted to give you a little bit of an, an insider trick that I use inside of Pro Presenter. This trick gives you the ability to take the current motions that you already own or have in your library and it allows you to create them in different ways where you can change the tempo, you can change the speed, you can change the colors to match your light shows. You can take those same motion backgrounds that you currently have in your library and transform those into something different week in and week, week out. This gives you the ability to not have to go out there and spend thousands of dollars every single year on motion backgrounds. You can take what you have and use those in a creative way and get a different look and feel each time you open those backgrounds. So I hope you'll take a second, check out the little tutorial. Let me know if you guys are using this. Thanks again, we'll talk to you soon. So obviously when you open Pro Presenter, this is the screen that you see over there on the left is all your songs and videos and your playlist. So when you find the song you wanna edit, um, you simply go down to your video bay. These are some great motions that I wanted to use for this song um, from the guys over at Church Motion Graphics. But when I click on it, it's set to play really slow and for this song I need it to go faster. So I will right click, go to media properties. Then up there at the top are the three tabs that you can change all the settings. So in this particular one you can change the play rate, you can set it back to normal speed, and you can see it speeds up back to normal. You can also increase the speed if the tempo or whatever of your song calls for a little bit faster motion. You can click on these, this slider tab and quickly change the color um, to anything you want. When you are done, you just exit out. You can also change saturation, contrast, brightness. You can basically give every background in your library almost an unlimited amount of changes so that it appears to be a new background. Once you're done, you just close out and it updates in your library. Now one thing to keep in mind is that it does save your updated changes. So when you drag it up and put it in, it's gonna save when you close out ProPresenter. It will be a pink background because that's what you last saved. So the same applies to any other background. I wanna apply this background to the chorus of our song. So I'll go in there, I'll change the color filter to pink to match the light show and the other background that I have made. You can also speed it up a little bit if you'd like to for this particular song. I'm just gonna keep it at regular speed because I like that speed and it fits well with the song. So I will again close it out and it's saved, updated in the library and I can click and drag it to wherever I need it to go. And now I have a good matching background, but it's different than what people have seen in the past because I've adjusted the speeds and the colors and now it can match my light show so you can also use this I like this background here but it but it moves very fast and I need this at a slow time in the song but I like the effect that it gives so I will go in here again I will turn down the play rate so that it doesn't move quite as fast and then I will go ahead and change the color filter again to pink to match and I'll crank the saturation up a little bit more contrast just to match totally with what I'm doing on the stage and there it updates in the library I can click and drag it to right where it wants to go so that is a great way to get new look and feel without having to purchase new backgrounds all the time thank you guys so much for checking out this church media quick tip I'll talk to you very soon